Hi guys. So, as a person who has figured out his personality and have some sort of low-level intelligence, I have a lot of trouble controlling my thoughts. And this is where existential crisis and existentialism sort of come from, at least with me. I tend to be that kind of person that worries about everything. Um, I guess you could say I have an overactive brain. I struggle with having existential crisis. Um, so it could be about anything, so the inevitability of death, the what happens when you die, if I'm ever famous, will my life ever have been worth it? I do God, I hope so. And that is a crisis that I've had over the past few days. It's like, it's not something that I want to be thinking about, it's like, I can't help it. It's like one really long stretched out. <laughs> intrusive thought. Dun 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 A wild existential crisis appears. And it gets in the way of everything. It lowers my mood, it induces even more anxiety than I had in the first place. Like, literally one day this could just happen. <gasps> what a lovely day! The birds, the, oh, the sunshine, what a lovely, amazing day. I felt like I could just break out into song. Hey Elias, it's your brain. Just thought I'd tell you that one day you're going to die and that nothing you do is ever going to be worth it. Right, time for, time for Tumblr. But, um, at the moment, I'm sort of okay. Are you sure about that? I'm just gonna ignore that. Anywho, So, what happened recently was that obviously school shut, so I, w I had to say goodbye to a lot of my friends that affected me emotionally. And before I knew it, I was sharp inside. And even before lockdown started, I wasn't allowed to leave the house. Due, due to extreme asthma, I was grounded, like, I couldn't even go out for a walk. For the most part, I was okay, until I started doing that 30-day Minecraft challenge, which at the time I thought was a good idea, but turns out not a lot of people want to watch that, which is kind of sad, I guess. I literally had someone comment, sorry, but it's not 2014 anymore, and that, like, got to me. <laughs> And towards the eighth episode is when I started to feel like really bad, like f like so much self-doubt and I was feeling really shitty about the fact that no one was watching it and I did, I felt really bad and it's like that's sort of what started <laughs> the newest existential crisis and it made me feel so rubbish about my lack of fame and I don't really know why I want fame so much, I guess I just sort of do but it's not necessarily me, it's just something that I worry about. And I know it sounds stupid, but I let things like that get to me because of my, like, obsessive way of thinking. I personally just obsess over things until they make me feel ill and make me feel really, really bad. And this is how I experience existentialism. And I sort of was constantly thinking about if if I'm never famous, if I never become an actor, if people don't know, know who I am, will, will I ever be happy? Or will I ever be content? And I don't know if those things would make me particularly happy, but I know I want them. And so that's why I started theatre two years ago. And then I started working towards my goal of becoming an actor being one way of being famous. And when I stopped going to my theatre group because of isolation, I was no longer working towards my goal and it left me open to intrusive thoughts and a horrible mindset that I started. But I, I, 
after a few days of having being in this mindset and getting really upset about it, just crying to myself in my room for a couple of days, I, I started to tackle it by doing exercise in the morning and strangely with a lot of tea, which doesn't sound weird as I'm English, but <laughs> it's weird for me because I am very much team coffee and I think for the foreseeable future, it's gonna be less coffee and more of this stuff. So yeah, that's my experiences and recent experience of existentialism. And I know there are other people that experience this and it's bad, but in the end, you need to think about the friends that you've got that are there for you and they will help you through these deep and horrible thoughts. Like, I've learned that it's best to live in the moment and stop worrying about the future or things that you can't change. So, yeah. <sighs> Leave a comment down below if you feel a similar way and if you experience existential crisis. Um, but for now, anyways, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.